While Disney's 2000 film was visually stunning and provided an exciting adventure, it took some creative liberties when it came to the scientific facts about this fascinating dinosaur. So, let's uncover the truth about the Iguanodon and see where Disney's dinosaur deviated from reality. First, let's talk about the Iguanodon's appearance. In Disney's Dinosaur, the Iguanodon is depicted with a rather sleek and smooth body, almost like a modern reptile. However, paleontologists believe that the Iguanodon had a much bulkier build. The real Iguanodon was a robust creature with a large, barrel-shaped body designed to support its weight. Its limbs were also thicker and sturdier than what we see in the movie, reflecting its lifestyle as a herbivorous dinosaur that needed to move through dense vegetation and support its massive frame. Another notable discrepancy is the hands of the Iguanodon. In the movie, the Iguanodon characters have four fingers, all of which appear to be quite functional. However, in reality, the Iguanodon had a unique hand structure. It had three main fingers, with the thumb being a large, conical spike. This thumb spike was likely used for defense against predators. The other two fingers were quite dexterous and used for grasping food, while the remaining two were smaller and less functional. Disney's portrayal misses out on this distinctive feature which is one of the Iguanodon's most interesting adaptations. Now, let's move on to the Iguanodon's behavior. In the movie, the Iguanodon, named Aladar, exhibits a high level of social behavior and even forms bonds with other dinosaur species. While it's possible that Iguanodons were social creatures, evidence suggests they were more likely to form herds with their own kind rather than interact closely with different species. Fossilized trackways indicate that Iguanodons moved in groups, which provided protection from predators. However, there is no solid evidence to suggest they had the complex interspecies relationships depicted in the film. The setting of the movie also brings up some inaccuracies. Disney's dinosaur places its characters in a lush, tropical environment. While the Iguanodon did live during the early Cretaceous period, which had a warmer climate compared to today, their habitat wasn't exactly as depicted in the film. The Iguanodon roamed regions that are now part of Europe, including what is now England, Belgium, and Spain. These areas were more likely a mix of floodplains, forests, and coastal environments rather than the dense, jungle-like settings shown in the movie. Another interesting point of divergence is the time frame. The movie combines dinosaurs from different periods, creating an anachronistic mix. The Iguanodon lived approximately 125 to 113 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. However, Disney's dinosaur features species like the Carnotaurus, which lived much later, around 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. While this blend of species makes for an exciting story, it's not scientifically accurate. In reality, these dinosaurs would never have encountered each other. Additionally, the movie portrays the meteor shower that leads to the extinction of the dinosaurs, which is a popular theory regarding their demise. However, the Iguanodon lived millions of years before the mass extinction event that occurred around 66 million years ago. So the dramatic meteor shower depicted in Disney's Dinosaur wouldn't have impacted the Iguanodon's existence directly. This creative choice serves the narrative, but doesn't align with the actual timeline of events. Additionally, the movie's portrayal of dinosaur interactions also raises questions. In Dinosaur, we see dinosaurs interacting in ways that are not supported by current scientific understanding. For example, the film presents the idea of dinosaurs speaking to each other and forming alliances, which is more a product of creative imagination than historical fact. In reality, while dinosaurs did interact, these interactions were likely based on survival needs, such as finding food, escaping predators, or reproducing, rather than the intricate social dynamics shown in the film. Finally, let's talk about the Iguanodon's diet. In the movie, Aladar the Iguanodon is shown munching on a variety of plants, including some that seem more suited to a modern jungle. In reality, the Iguanodon was a herbivore that primarily fed on coniferous plants, ferns, and cycads. These plants were part of the vegetation in the early Cretaceous period, but are quite different from the lush, exotic plants depicted in the film. This simplification was likely made to create a visually appealing environment, but it does stray from what we know about the Iguanodon's actual diet. Thank you for watching.
If you enjoyed this deep dive into Disney's dinosaur and the real Iguanodon, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos on the history of dinosaurs and other fascinating topics. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think or what other dinosaur myths you'd like us to explore. Until next time, keep exploring and learning.